a very faux somber group of Republican members of the House delivered the impeachment articles against Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas yesterday. I do want to remind you this impeachment is DOA. It is dead on arrival. Not only is it absurd to say that despite undocumented immigration under every presidential administration in the modern political era, you know, go back to the 1700s, maybe uh, undocumented immigration meant something different then. The, but certainly under Trump, under Obama, under Bush, under Clinton, under H.W. Bush and going back beyond that. We have always seen undocumented immigration to the United States. All of a sudden, Republicans have decided that the fact that there has been some undocumented immigration under Biden and Mayorkas means that Mayorkas must be impeached. It's absurd. Also, Democrats do have a majority in the Senate, and that is yet another reason why this impeachment is dead on arrival. But here is video of House Republicans making the very somber walk over to the Senate to deliver articles of impeachment against Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, desperate for relevance, up against the wall for having accomplished nothing. Here they are. By the way, Marjorie Trader Green is in the group. She's these are the impeachment managers. They will be managing the impeachment of Mayorkas. Dear God. And by the way, I get that this is not, you know, th this this has a very visual element. We'll get audio in a moment. If you're just listening today, just imagine that the absolute worst that America has to offer on the taxpayer dollar are just walking around delivering articles of impeachment that have no basis in fact and are destined to go nowhere. Imagine that in your mind's eye. Mr. President, the managers on the part of the House of Representatives are present and ready to present the articles of impeachment, which have been preferred by the House of Representatives yeah. against Alejandro Nicolas Mayorkas, Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. There you go. So <laughs> imagine what they could accomplish if they actually put their time and energy into doing their jobs rather than empty, vapid, pointless political theater. Do something for your country. If you are as patriotic as you claim to be and claim to have a monopoly on patriotism, these are absolutely pathetic people. This is going nowhere and you should be furious. Your taxpayer money is wasted on this. It's wasted on it in the House. It's going to be wasted on it in the Senate in a uh, in an impeachment trial that will go absolutely nowhere, not only because Mayorkas is not deserving of being impeached, but because Democrats have a majority in the Senate and Democrats have already said, we don't think there's any reason to impeach this guy. By the way, I don't even think that they'll get every Republican vote to convict in the Senate. There are some mildly or moderately sane Republicans remaining who are just going to say this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So there are your taxpayer dollars an attempt to distract from the four criminal trials in which their Republican nominee uh, is involved in. And of course, more big picture, an attempt to distract from the fact that Biden has accomplished much while they have attempted to interfere with all of it. They have nothing to show for themselves and have nothing to justify their reelections in November. They're in trouble. They know it. Let's hope it backfires. It is time to start thinking like voters and to make sure that kids understand the importance of voting, how it works, registering ballot initiatives because so many kids just have no idea. That's why I wrote the new children's book. Think like a voter. I can think of no better time and no more important group of folks to try to reach. The book is now available at davidpackmancom slash book, where, by the way, you can get the first two books in the series as well. Think like a detective and think like a scientist. Really important stuff. Donate them to local libraries, classrooms, 
read them with the kids. DavidPakman.com slash book.